Transcatheter aortic valve replacement has been done almost exclusively in patients with aortic stenosis. Patients with aortic regurge have not been considered good candidates because of less calcification of the valve and annulus and the large annular size that is present in many patients that have aortic regurgitation. Now in Jack, researchers report on data to evaluate the anecdotal use of transcatheter aortic valve implantation in pure native aortic valve regurgitation for patients who were deemed surgically inoperable. The authors collected a total of 43 patients who had core valve prostheses implanted at 14 centers in Europe. All patients had severe AR without aortic stenosis, and 17 patients had the degree of aortic valvar calcification documented on CT or echo. Eight of the 43 patients required a second valve, not good news, and in all eight, valvular calcification was absent, supporting the notion that valvular calcium serves as an anchor. In addition, AR was not completely resolved. Post-procedure aortic regurgitation grade one or lower was present in 34 patients. At 30 days, the major stroke incidence was about 5%, and the all-cause mortality rate was 9.3%, not much different from patients with aortic stenosis. This registry analysis demonstrates the feasibility and potential procedure difficulties when using aortic valve replacement done through a catheter for severe aortic regurgitation. The authors point out that acceptable results may be achieved in carefully selected patients who are deemed too high risk for conventional surgery, but the possibility of requiring two valves and leaving residual aortic regurgitation behind remain important considerations. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardiosource Heart Minute.